Hey guys, and how's it going? Hey, we recently did a video on uh, rejuvenating a couple of defunct free snowblowers. And during that video, I missed something, but the viewers did not. I would have found it when I tried blowing snow eventually, but uh, anyway, here's where we are. <laughs> I'll give you a second. See if you can figure out what is wrong with them, with one of them. And I'll start zeroing in on it. It has to do with the auger in the front. The one on the right is correct. The one on the left is not correct. Do you see it? All right, zero in more on it. The auger in the front spins this direction. And it has to be able to draw snow to the center. And then the impeller throws it out. If you look at the pattern on these, the way they're scoped, they would draw snow to the middle and do such. This one, not so much. It's actually the wrong direction. It's rotating this way. It's going to push the snow to the outsides of the drum and not towards the center. So this is the one that needed less work too, what we thought. Just needed a carburetor and this is the one that needed a little bit of everything to save it. So that's why it was a kick to the curb is that it must have really done a terrible job of trying to throw snow because it was pushing it away from the center. Anyway, you would think that you would just take that whole assembly and kind of spin it over and it would be okay. It does not work that way. The gearbox in the center, the orientation of it is right. You see where the drain plug is. See the drain plug in that one. You can't flip that gearbox over. It's meant to run in that direction. Um, what you got to do, that one has to come off, go on that side. That one has to come off, and go on that side. To do that, you have to pull the whole assembly, the guts out of it in the middle to be able to swap them. At one time, they used to have sides that bolted on. We could have slid them out from the side, but uh, that's not going to be an option for us. So hopefully, the flywheel and the pulley in, on the inside can come apart fairly easy so we can remove that assembly out. Sometimes it rusts up solid and can be a bitch. We're gonna go find out. Let's go get that one back on the bench and see if we can fix it. And we'll muscle flip it around. So it definitely means that somebody had a problem with this once before. My guess is the gearbox was gone. There's a like a brass worm gear that's inside of here that generally blows out. And that generally blows out because somebody, when the shear pins break, that's what these bolts are right here. When they break, um, somebody puts a bolt in and tries running it afterwards. And uh, instead of having the bolt break, it takes out the gearbox in the center. So somebody did that and then just wasn't aware of putting these on backwards. Also had to make sense too, if you look at it, the teeth are facing the wrong direction. They're kind of like gradual going up and the bites on the top. Well, if that's going this way, it's not doing very much. Uh, we can address it. You know, sometimes you could take the whole assembly out with that rear impeller as one assembly, or you could try, if you look in this, right in the middle, so you get some better light on it. There's a couple of drift pins right there. Roll pins, one there and one there. You could drive them out and try to get this shaft away from this and have that whole assembly come out. And on the sides, you just unbolt the uh, bushings or bearings that are on the side and let it slide forward and you can slip them around. And the other part too is sometimes this will seize to the shaft that's on the, in, on the inside. And if you look, they're both free, so we're good there. That one seems like it's moving. That one we can't tell, but it feels like it, the play that's in it where the bolt is, looks like it's okay. Let's go pop the belt cover off and take a peek, a peek, a peek. Let's take a look <laughs> inside there and see if there's any easier option to get that pulley off than trying to split it right, right there. Yeah, a friend of mine, Brian, needs a machine. I was gonna give him one of these. Uh, unfortunately, he's probably seen the video, but it would've been fun to give him the machine and try and try to watch it trying to watch him blow snow <laughs> all right so that's the, this pulley would have to come apart and come off of there and a lot of times that stuff rusts up against the snow blowers using snow all the time Let's see if we can uh, take a peek so there's going to be a like a jam screw on this bottom wheel and then if you can get this loose, this will stay behind and you can push the shaft right out. I think the I think it'll slide out of that bearing. I 
Oh, it's got a bolt in the back. You can see it from I'm looking down in there. Put the light right on it. Right down. There. So you can split these machines in half by these bolts and the whole thing will kind of like open up. You can get a little bit better access to it. But I think maybe we should try with that pin. You think the chances are that both of those will be able to drive out of there? Let's try it. Let's, um, because somebody had it apart anyway to change that gearbox. So something must have been taken apart already. Let's take the chute off, which isn't that big of a deal. It's two bolts and uh, it'll allow it to lift right off and see if we can drive them out of there. Should be able to lift that right off of there now. There we go. Instant access to the hole. Yeah, looking pretty rusty. I don't know if they took it apart this way, but let's give it a shot while we're in here. Looks like somebody hammered on that one, huh? Place your bets. Think they'll move? Chances are that that's free. Oh yeah, perfect. Nice. Let's go uh, unbolt our sides. And hopefully that should just slide right out of there. Maybe not. <laughs> I still think it's pinned in the back. I thought it was two separate shafts. I think it's one shaft all the way through the front pulley. Whoops. <laughs> That's why I thought it had two pins in it. I suck. So it's going to be this bolt and the one on the other side. I think the bottom ones can stay in. The machine can just kind of do one of these. What's the old saying? Whatever you estimate something to be cost and time, double it. It'll be twice as much and twice as long to get it done. Yeah, I should be able to do a curtsy. Should. Now we can get that bolt off the pulley. And a lot of times, unfortunately, this will seize to it, but we'll see. Let's get the belt out of there. I got a half inch. Yeah. <sighs> I've had these, I've had to cook, bake, pry, bend <laughs> and it's been a nightmare so hopefully the bearing is not seized on it too let me go pull on the front there we go all right now we got it you can hammer that back on that won't make a difference yeah pretty sure i thought i'd seen in the past where um the shaft is cut in half and they kind of meet it in the two places, or I might be just making it up. All right, let's get these off of here. These should just pop right off. These are just bushings. Usually get filled up with sticks. It's nice if somebody greased it up too. Like th these will also bind to each other. 
get them out. So it was negative 15 Fahrenheit two days ago, yesterday. It is now 46. What is this? 61 degree swing <laughs> in a day. So these, these are called shear pins. A lot of times there'll be like lines in them that will break. Clean the grease off, you can see what I'm talking about. You can even see this one's got a little bit of a kick to it. It was, it was starting to break. I should have some new ones here, but they have like lines that after a certain pressure, they'll fracture and break. There's a line there and another one right there. Go we'll pop the other one out and we'll swap them from side to side. I think at some point it was getting so common for um, machines to fail because people were just putting bolts in them. And that's what, you, you know, what else are you going to do? You're, you're in the middle of a blizzard. You can't get out of your driveway so you can go get parts. That the machines, they started storing uh, extra shear pins right on the machine. They kind of had a little compartment for them. Yeah, that one's fine. You can see the lines on that one much better. A little bit of a bend on there, starting to break. So you need to come off and go on this side. You gotta go there. And this one. Let's look at that real quick. <laughs> Make sure I don't put it back together and it's just the exact same thing still. I think we got it though, right? That's spinning like that. It's gonna draw the snow to the center. That one's spinning like, like that and that one's gonna draw it to the center. I do believe, I'm gonna go check and see if I got some new shear pins we'll put in on those and we'll tape those two old ones to the handlebars. The land of miscellaneous bits. Should be that hopper right there. Should bring this, this chamber to the uh, bench if we have a matching set. So we're looking for a set of them. They come in a lot of shapes and flavors. We might not even have them. Well, I guess those are going back in. I'm gonna go one more bag to check. Is that it? Never opened. Yeah, too big. It's for a bigger machine. You don't see them, do you? Nope. He's gonna have to get his own. Yeah, when these go back in, you don't wanna tighten them you don't want to tighten it as a bolt. Where's the, there it is. You want them to float. You don't want to crank down on them and have them so that they uh, have tension on them. The nut is a jam nut. So it's not like it's going to back itself off. You want to still, She's still floating. You can still kind of turn it by hand. That's fine. We should probably just stand this thing up and run those pins back in before it's in there. I think I may, uh, let's try driving that one the rest of the way out. And we can just put it through the other side without fighting us. It's almost there. I think there's only a hair left. You're free. We just start them again, I guess.
Wrong way. Yeah, because sometimes some of the circulars back in here, they had um, set screws that when they didn't have a bolt in the back of it, those could be a nightmare. Glad they went with this. Yeah, let's see if you can close that sandwich back up. Sometimes you gotta put a ratchet strap to each other. There's a brake lever you want to try and hit. First, I'm going to get the belt on the right spot. There's a brake lever. I don't know if you can see it from where you are. Which is on the other side of this pulley. It kind of stalls it. Got to lift up on that so it'll be out of harm's way. Make sure the belt looks good. It's on the right side of the keepers. Of course, they don't have a bolt on this side to hold it. Let's go. Let's shove a punch in there. That's that water you hit here dripping in the background. It's like a drum. Should be able to work that belt over just by working the full start. Give him a little pull. Yes, no, maybe. I don't know. Keep it on the idler too. There we go. Check the lever. Looks good. Keep an open that you can't come in. This should just slip right on. It's just got two bolts in the back and then the rod goes across the top. Also, you got a little, little clip that holds that. Where's the hole? All right, let's fire it up, fire it up. Let's go for a pull start. Here's some choke, some gas. Couple of primes. I should probably turn the gas on, would be a good idea. Alright, now let's give her a couple of primes. Look, that's more like it. 
draw the snow into the middle. Good. I'm gonna run around a grease gun and hit those contacts. Boy, it looks a little wobbly, huh? Choke's gotta come off. And I'm quite sure what's happening with the wobbliness of the plate. It's tightened all the way down. It's not like it has any place it can kind of go move. And it probably was already like that. I just didn't notice it. Oh well. It'll run. It'll run much better with those in the correct orientation, huh? All right, I'm gonna pop that cover back on. Well, that's it guys, we made out pretty good on this and hopefully it doesn't come back with anything else. And if it does, I'll film, I'll film on that too, unless you're totally sick of it. But yeah, I didn't catch that on the augers you know, spinning the wrong direction. I've had it before and I've caught it. Uh, one, it was a, I think it was an Aaron's tractor I had, and this is probably about 10, 15 years ago. So the tractor had like a 48 inch snowblower on the front of it. And of course it was used. One auger was orange, the other one was black. So I knew somebody had already gone to replace it, but it was different. They had it correct on one side, but the screw kept going all the way across. So the one on the other side, they replaced it because it was a different color, probably ordered a new one, ordered the wrong side, slid it on there, probably why they sold the machine too, because it was just crappy. Uh, you couldn't flip it over because of where the hole location is for the, uh, the shear pins, but I, I just took it off, flipped it around, put it back on, and just drilled a new hole, and then that one was okay. So I've seen it before, but it's kind of a rarity, you know. So hopefully this one will work much better and blow some snow. It's going local. I have no snow to kind of run them in. I kind of like to, uh, you know, function test them, put them under a load, make sure there's not going to be any issues with them before they leave here. But uh, this one's getting given away local, and I'll know soon enough whether it's got an issue or not. If it snows again, right now there's just frozen ice out there. There's nothing to try to go move. All right, guys. Well, thanks for catching that one, and uh, we'll wrench on something else pretty soon. And until then, I'll see you later. Someone was asking me what this is on the locker in the background, the uh, the woman kissing the dog on the head. And um, this is the, I kind of make big scrap art stuff. I don't show much of that on video anymore. But the idea was to draw something this is the the hand-drawn part and then i transferred that over to metal and i made like a a three-dimensional version of this out of metal i'll show you that in a second uh but that's just answering the question of what that is there's just two pieces that i was talking about afterwards just recopied made double sections of it and made it about i don't know about an inch wide in between and they're just separate she doesn't stay up by herself though gotta keep kissing